The 9,595th meeting of the Security Council is called to order. Madam President, members of the Security Council, more than three years have passed since the military overturn of the democratically elected government. In Rakhine State, fighting between the military and Arakan army has reached an unprecedented level of violence. Madam President, members of the Security Council, thank you for this opportunity to brief you on the deteriorating humanitarian crisis in Myanmar. The ongoing escalation of conflict in Myanmar, including the worst levels of violence since 2021, is severely affecting people in every corner of the country and having alarming spillover effects into neighboring countries. The humanitarian impacts are significant and deeply concerning. People across Myanmar are living in daily fear for their lives, especially since the recent implementation of the national conscription law. As the conflict continues to escalate, as the humanitarian needs intensify, and with the monsoon season just around the corner, time is of the essence for the people of Myanmar. They cannot afford for us to forget. They cannot afford to wait. They need the support of the international community now to help them survive in this time of fear and turmoil. I urge the Security Council, member states, and the wider international community to do everything they can to ensure continued humanitarian support to the people of Myanmar. Across Myanmar, hunger is mounting. In 2024, food insecurity is now affecting some 12.9 million people, nearly 25% of the population. 2.8 million people have now been displaced, 90% of them since the military takeover. Many of these people require urgent access to food, shelter, and safety. Any solution to the current crisis requires conditions that permit the people of Myanmar to exercise their human rights freely and peacefully. An end to the military's campaign of violence and political repression is a vital step.